Hello and welcome to the short board on Parsha Tazria. The Parsha talks about Tsaras. It concludes in Shri, where Tsaras, which is a physical manifestation of a spiritual malady, can show up not just on a person, uh, like one might think with leprosy type of uh, whiteness, but even on a house. And in, in Shri, it talks about when it comes on clothing too. These are all warnings and messages from Hashem about sins. So talking about Saras in general, so there's the famous Rochel, the peddler that came around asking, Mia Isha Chafetz Chaim, who wants the Sama Chaim, who wants the elixir of life? Rabbi Yanai heard about this and he came over to the peddler and he asked uh, to see the merchandise. He wants to buy it, and the merchant and the Rochel said to him, it's not for you and those like you. But Rabbi Yanai persisted, and the Rochel told him, he took out a, a Tehillim, and he said, followed by Nitzor, the Shon Chaim Ra, guard your tongue from bad. So you know, Rabbi Yanai says, uh, well, now I understand what the Pasuk was about. So it's pretty interesting that until then he didn't understand what the Pasuk was about. So, what can, what's the Chiddush that we get from this story? What, what's new that this uh, Rochel is telling us? So there's different types of life. There's, there's Chayim Aruchim, there's long life, there's Chayim Tovim, good life, there's Chayim Roim, bad life, and then there's a life that's not even much of a life. So this uh, peddler was announcing that who wants, they said who wants the... the the medicine that cures life, that gives grants you life. He wasn't talking about the long life, but he was talking about Chaim Tovim. So we're going to have to explain what that is. And the Chiddush here is that it's teaching the definition of life, specifically Chaim Tovim, that Chaim Tovim is not a life full of pleasures, of physical pleasures, but it is a life of Nitzor L'Shon Chamei a purposeful life, where you're engaged in you know, Torah and mitzvot and doing the proper things. It's not about the physical world. And so that's the, the when he says Chaim, he was teaching even Rabbi Yanai that, that it's not about the pleasures of the world, but who has the, the, the real life. That's the Chaim Tovim of Nitzor, the Shon Chamei and Dabek Bechaye, Torah and Mitzvot, to cling to Torah and Mitzvot. So that's from Rabbi Yitzchak Blazer, brought down in Tali Oros on Chumash, uh, which also brings down the Baal Shoei of Amoyeshev in a similar uh, connected piece. So what is the definition of Ohev Yamim, Liros Tov? So based on the Baal Ksos Choshen, the author of the Ksos Choshen, says that there's you know, certain businessmen where they're constantly going on trips, so they go away on the trip for a while, and while they're away, uh, all they're thinking about is, I can't wait until I get home. I can't wait for time to pass. I'll finish this trip, and I'll be home. And then once they get home, a little while later, they're already thinking, oh, I can't wait for my best next business trip. I'm going to plan for my next business trip. And they're always looking for life to pass. They're not focusing on what's happening at that moment. In contrast, there are those people who have the pro proper hadracha, the proper derech in servicing. And by them, when it says, oi v'yamim, it's, it's oiv the day, they love the days, they don't want it to pass. They want to use it efficiently. They want it, Liros Tov, to save that time, to use that precious time for Torah and Mitzvahs, Torah and uh, Avoda. And that's what you get for Oiv Yamim Liros Tov. So perhaps then this would explain what the Rochel, when he says to Rabbi Yana, he says, this is not for you and not li those like you, because you're already someone who, who you, you, you don't want the time to pass. You're not looking for a, a quick uh, passage of, of time, but you want to use every single day. So you've already saved it. You, you're already one of those Ohev Yamim, the Rosh Tov. You're already one of those that already uh, love the days to do the good. So thank you for listening. Next week, in Yitzhak Shem, uh, we'll do a Yord Site, special Yord Site edition in... Uh, this is of course my mother, Gittel Bas Moshe. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.